Welcome to DCC++ EX Labs. Our first video showed you how to use a Mega, a motor shield, and a Wi-Fi shield to connect a throttle or a cab wirelessly using engine driver. But what if you don't have a wireless board yet, or what if you just want to connect something simple to test everything right out of the box? Well, first of all, we're not going to need this anymore, so put that off to the side. That leaves us just with a Mega and a motor shield. Next you're going to need a computer. You probably already have one because you needed it to upload the firmware to the Arduino. And you're going to need a Chrome browser. First thing you have to do is go into Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags and enable this experimental web platform feature. You can see I've got it enabled over here. That's going to allow us to connect via the USB to the Arduino. The next step is we're going to take our USB cable from the Arduino, plug it into the computer, hear the fun sound that lets us know we're connected. Then I'm going to give you a link to the DCC++ EX web throttle for Chrome. First step is to go over here and connect to DCC++ EX. We'll get a choice of the Arduino Mega 2560 on COM3. I'll hit connect. Next thing I need to do is turn the power on. There we go. The loco came alive. Let's acquire it. This one is set to the default locomotive ID of 3. We'll hit acquire and we're connected. Let's test a few things. How about the light? How about the horn? Oh, the bell, sorry. And there's the horn. Let's set it to go forward and move the throttle. This will be better with a touch screen. Keep in mind this is early alpha testing, but it is fully functional. It uses the standard DCC++ text commands, and we'll be adding Wi-Fi support, rethrottle support, and a spiffy user interface. Thanks for watching.